And in fact, usually the magician does the trick, but in this case, you're going to do the trick. Northwestern freshman Ethan Zach has been doing magic since fourth grade when a friend first showed him a trick. And I asked him how to, how to do it because I was curious, um, and he wouldn't tell me. Ethan's curiosity never faded. He continued to learn and practice tricks to give audiences the same feeling of wonder he felt when he first experienced magic. And all I want you to do is say any card out loud. Any card. Any card you want. Eight of diamonds. And he's always just kind of like a quirky guy, and you can, that kind of like comes out through his tricks, but he's really creative. Like, I know a lot of his tricks he's told me that he comes up with himself, and they're not necessarily stuff that he like can learn through any way other than just like teaching himself, and I think that's kind of like reflective of his, his hardworking personality as a whole. Do you want to change your mind before we start? Yes. Okay, what would you like to change it to? King of, King of Hearts. The King of Hearts. The first trick I was really proud of, um, I can't really, dis I can describe it, I can try to describe it. Basically, I, I still do it today. It's something where instead of having someone pick a card, they just think of a card and I can know what it is. I just, I just don't know how it's possible, like honestly. What's your name? How do you spell your name? A-S-H-E-R. A-S-H-E-R. And we land on one card. Take a look. King of Hearts. There you go. That my two cards that I chose were exactly five cards away from each other. That the bottom card was exactly where I picked up. Just none of it really makes any sense to me. You know, all these people, all these highly educated people who I've performed for, like, think they know everything. And then you show them a simple card trick and they, they lose their minds. With Medill 2012, Charlie Seidels.